Hey guys, Steve Walsh here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I have what you've been waiting for. Full specs on the 2022 Tundra. And when I say full specs, I mean it's pretty well full specs. So um, let's have some fun. Let's go over these. I haven't really gone over it uh, completely yet, but uh, we're going to kind of do this together. And we're going to read it as we go. And uh, uh, it's literally everything that you want to know about the Tundra is right here, right now. Um, I got 20 pages of it. We're going to go through it and I'm going to show you exactly what you're getting with the new Tundra. So let's have some fun, guys. All right. So let's kind of take a look here. I'm going to make sure that uh, you guys can read it. I'm going to kind of probably pull these up just a little bit as we go and kind of give you some uh, some a little bit closer of a view on here and I'm doing this in the way that I can get it out quick like I said here so um, all right so obviously your engine 3.5 liter uh, aluminum block v6 twin turbochargers water cooled intercooler uh, 24 valve DOHC chain driven with VVT all right with dual VVT sorry um, and your iForce Max 3.5 liter V6 hybrid twin turbocharger, same thing, right? Uh, displacement 34, 45 cc's. Bore and stroke is 85.5 millimeter by 100 millimeters. Compression ratio is 10.4 to 1. Horsepower 389 horsepower at 5200 RPM. Your SR, and that's in um, your non hybrid. Um, SR 348 horsepower at 5200 RPM. Your iForce Max is 437 horsepower at 5200 RPM, which is awesome. Your torque, iForce, 479 foot pounds of torque at 2400 RPM. It's a really low RPM for measuring torque, so that's really good. Um, uh, SR is 405 pounds at uh, 2000 rpms your iforce max is 583 foot pounds at 2400 um iridium tip spark plugs fuel systems your direct injection and port injection which is how toyota has done it for a long time recommended fuel a lot of you guys have asked 87 octane or higher so you can run higher octane but you do not have to all right um estimated fuel economy right four by two it says um, 18 to 20 or 18 city, 24 highway, 20 is combined on your SR, 18, 23, 20 combined on your SR5 limited platinum 1794. iForce Max is still saying to be determined, so I don't have that information yet. Um, you can see your 4x4, it looks like you lose about a mile per gallon to go to the 4x4. Um, uh, so now it shows your iForce Max. So I do have information on the iForce Max, it's just not your fuel yet, all right? So um obviously it gives you information on your electric motor so um parallel hybrid system with electric motor generator located between the engine and transmission that's a little bit different of a way of doing it uh torque of just so or sorry so just the horsepower of your electric motor is 48 horsepower the torque of just the electric motor is 184 foot pounds all right Hybrid battery is a sealed uh, nickel metal hydride battery. So that is, a, a you know, what they've used for years. It's not a lithium ion. Um, rated voltage. All right, you can read that if you want to. Capacity. All right, so I'm going to try to go through some of this kind of fast. All right, so you guys can kind of take a peek at it and do what you want to do with it, of course. But, uh, you know, we'll see what you guys think when it comes to what... Uh, some of this information is all right so your layout i force it just kind of talks about how the layout of the vehicle is uh for your engine and your drivetrain of course you guys can take a look at that transmission that's been a big deal too 10 speed electronically controlled automatic transmission with intelligence uh the with intelligence means that it'll learn how you drive which is a pretty cool thing um sequential shift mode uphill downhill shift logic tow haul now here's something else that a lot of people are asking about what are your gear ratios Here's your gear ratios. First is 4.92, second is 3.26, third 2.35, fourth 1.94, fifth 1.53, sixth 1.19, seventh 1.08, 0.80, ninth 0.66, tenth is 0.61, reverse is 4.30, and your differential ratio is 3.31. All right. Giving you guys all this information, I'm gonna go kind of go fast and furious so that you guys can see it. You can always pause the video, rewind, do what you need to if you want to go back to it. So, transfer case is all the same. It looks like on all your four wheel drives there. So, uh, from the SR all the way up, uh, chassis and body. So, suspension, 
Uh, it gives you all of your suspension here. Um, I'm not gonna read everything to you guys. It just kind of you know give you the ability to kind of take a look at it, pause it as you need to, and you can kind of take a look. So you can see your suspensions, multi-link in the rear, of course, that's standard and core model. So you can see where core models have a different front suspension. Your TRD Sport has a lowered suspension off-road. So all that stuff I've gone over before. Um, the Pro, people have asked about the Pro. Uh, the TRD off-road suspension with a 1.1 inch front lift and a 2.5 inch uh, Fox internal bypass coil overs and rear remote reservoir shocks and TRD Pro front stabilizer bar. So you guys can read all of that if you want to here. Um, like I said, I'm showing you every bit of this so that you guys can definitely uh, know what you want. So you got your turning radius. Uh, you know, you can see lock to lock. You know, you, you can see everything right there for all of your measurements. Um, on how you can turn. Um, so whatever you're considering, you can definitely see which one it is. Your brakes, power assisted ventilated 13.9 inch. So you have almost a 14 inch front brake, uh, front disc brakes with opposed dual piston calipers. Now guys, the, the Tundra's done that for a while. It is not a floating caliper. It's a rigid caliper that has dual pistons on either side that pushes the brake evenly on the caliper. That's why the Tundra stops so well. Um, it, it's not where it pushes one side and then you pull it, you know, pull the other side to it and you have one brake pad that wears out quicker than the other. It's not that way. All right. Now your rear is a 13.6 inch, so almost as big as the front with single piston calipers. All right. Um, so that one's going to be the floating caliper side, but the front is where you do the vast majority of your, uh, your braking. Electronic parking brake, so it's going to have an EPB, so it's not you're not going to, have to push the the brake pedal down. That brake should be an automatic parking brake. All right. Keep in mind, I'm going to give you some of my opinions as I always do when we're doing this, and kind of go from there. All right. Wheel size standard on your SR SR5 TRD Pro is an 18 um, by 8 inch. The limited platinum 1794 is a 20 by 8 inch. So standard wheel type. You guys can definitely read this. So you can see what your SR. Here's your SR, your SR5 Limited, Platinum, Platinum 1794, and TRD Pros. You can see exactly what all of them have on there. Um, a lot of times people ask, well, what you know, what brand name will the, the wheels be? I mean, Toyota uses several brands. The only one that's brand specific is this right here, the Falcon Wild Peak. Everything else is, does not look brand specific, so you could have pretty much any brand on it, um, but Toyota only uses the major brands, so remember that. So now, the next question, can it fit in my garage? Here's your dimensions, guys. So, um, like I said, bringing it to you fast and furious, you guys got all of this information here. So, your wheelbase, right? Short bed, long bed, four by two, double cab, crew max, everything's right there. Uh, I'm not gonna spend the time to kind of go over each individual one, but I'm giving you a nice long look here. Uh, find the one that uh, you're most interested in, and then definitely you can find out if it works for you. Uh, for what you're trying to do. So um, looks like the overall uh, the overall width is 80.2 on all of them uh, except for the TRD Pro and you'll notice that TRD Pro at 81.6. One of the reasons that's going to be important is because um, if you notice you have the extra lights on the Pro it's because you're you're over that uh, that threshold where you need it. And I, I want to say that threshold is 81 but don't quote me on that. So um, overall height everything's 78 inches so that's good there. Um, inside bed depth everything's the same there at 20.9. You guys can see the inside bed width is uh, 58.7 or 48.7 between the wheels all that's the same right. So in giving you guys all of that information all right we're gonna like i said we're running through this a little bit quicker if we can here so exterior dimensions you can definitely see you know your ground clearance so it looks like you're going to have uh what's the minimum there about 10.3 it looks like's the minimum on any of them for ground clearance um that's just kind of what it looks like sorry 10.2 i see a 10.2 down here uh for on the platinum so um that's probably what the you know, maybe with the lowered suspension, there's there's a couple of them like the off-road package or the uh, sport package that lowers the uh, suspension. So, um, I Force Max is a little bit lower. Looks like it's going to be at a 10 on the limited. So, you know, definitely, like I said, take a look at these numbers, see what you think of these numbers. Coefficient of drag 0.36. That's you know how it runs through the wind. That's pretty good. Um, angle of approach. That's just the angle that uh, you drive at. I think. I don't know, but uh, that's all. You know, it's. I don't know, some engineer wrote that right <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to explain it but um double cab crew max so i've had a lot of people ask me this are we going to have a bench seat in 
uh, the crew max or a bench seat in the double cab? And the answer is no, five and five. There's not an option for a six passenger seating. So you're gonna have that uh, um, console in the center. You're not gonna be able to have a center bench seat in the front like you can currently on the SR and SR fives. Uh, you're not gonna have that. You can see your headroom, uh, 41 inches. That's probably 41 in the front, 38 in the back. Uh, looks like with the moonroof, you lose a little bit. So you get down to 39.3 or 36.9 with the, the moonroof. Panoramic roof looks like it's about the same. Um, leg room, Toyota is pretty notorious for having really good leg room. And uh, this is no different. 41.2 on the front, 33.3 on the back on the double cab. Uh, 41.2 in the front and 41.6 in the back. You got more leg room in the back seat than you do in the front, guys. Um, that's, that's actually really cool. So um, shoulder room in the front, 65 inches, 63.4 in the back on the double cab, 62.4 in the back on your... Um, your crew max, 62.6 in the hip room, and 60.5 is your hip room, whether you have the double cab or the crew max. All of that is really good. All right, so Tundra is still big, guys, just so you know. All right, curb weight. A lot of people have asked for curb weight. So I force right here is a powertrain, I force max powertrain. All right, obviously, you can't get a 4x2 double cab and I force max. Can't 4x4 four four double cab and an I force max. So you can't do that. So weights and capacities definitely take a peek here keep in mind that uh um there usually if you add things to it you know you you know add extra features to the to the vehicle that you can change your curb weight so you always want to make sure that uh, you know what your vehicle weighs. is always check the placard on the inside of your vehicle maximum towing guys here's the other question a lot of people are asking so your 3.5 liter 8.1 8 foot long bed in your double cab obviously you can't get the 8.1 8 um, foot long bed in the crew max that would be a crazy long truck that would be like weird um, but 8300 on your sr 11,370 on your sr5 in your 4x2 double cab for your towing 11,090 keep in mind this is i mean this is just beautiful right guys and this is not the iForce max this is your iForce so this is just your your standard engine right 3.5 liter twin turbo on the the standard bed right so you can get 8,300 on your SR, 12,000 on your SR5, 11,400 on your limited. I mean, just, you guys can, like I said, take a look at these numbers. You can see how, how you're looking here. Um, but it's, uh, I mean, yeah, this thing's a monster. It's, it's a beast. It's going to tow whatever you want. <laughs> so I force max, you can see down here on your four by two, 11, um, 11,350 on your limited um, in your standard bed, your 11,290 on your platinum, 11,040 over here on your crew max, that's your 4x4, 10,960 on your platinum, so you lose a little bit because of the four wheel drive, of course. Um, so now here's your short bed in your uh, standard is down here. Um, so you can't get a five foot five short bed on your double cab you can see how it says na there so you can't get that so you see your your numbers here again all your towing is really good so you're i've had people ask me payload all right so here gvwr first check out your gvrwr numbers so 7035 to 7375 like i said depending on what equipment you have on the car it could be a little bit different 6990 i mean truck to 7210 in your 4x2 crew max this is uh, your 4x4 double cab 7265 to 7375 7230 to 7780 on your gvwr for your crew max all right so payload 1860 to 19 40 uh on and that's on your four by two double cab sorry i didn't mean to to bounce that on there guys um and then your 6990 to or sorry let me back up 1640 to 1830 on your payload right so that is for the um uh four by two crew max the double cab four by four double cab 1810 to 1885 and then your um trb pro is going to be uh, 1600 on your pay payload, but your 4x4 crew max would be 1575 to 1820, all right? Maximum towing, 
12,000 pounds on your 4x2 double cab, 11,450 4x2 crew max, uh, and then double cab would be 11,2, and then your crew max and your 4x4 um, is 11,170. Keep in mind, like I said, equipment on the car can change that a little bit, guys. Uh, maximum tongue weight, 1,200 pounds on your 4x2 double cab, 1,145 on your 4x2 crew max. 1120 on your 4x4 double cab, 1117 on your uh, 4x4 crew max. All right, gross combined tow rating in pounds with package, so you can kind of see what you're looking at here. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, this is just beautiful, guys. I love this. So, you guys can take a look and see what you're looking at there for all of that. Spent a little bit of extra time on that one. Uh, I'm gonna kind of go over this. This is something else that people have asked about. What's the fuel capacity? 22.5 gallons SR and SR5. So some of those spec sheets I showed you said large fuel tank. So you can now can see what the difference is. So the SR and the SR5 will come standard with 22 and a half gallons. The S, uh, but they, I believe the SR5 had the option for the large fuel tank. I'll have to go back and see if the SR did, but the large fuel tank is going to be 32.2 gallons. I had said that I thought it was going to be around 30 and guess what? I was not that far off. So y'all haters can stop. <laughs> So available on the SR5. So there we go. There's my answer. Available on the SR5. So the SR is going to have a 22.5 gallon tank regardless. SR5 has a available 32.2. And then it's going to be standard on everything else above there. Engine oil. You're going to hold 7.7 quarts with the filter, guys. Um, so cooling system will hold 13.1 quarts. The intercooler will hold for your turbos. That'll hold 4.6. Um, so now you got to... This I'm just going to kind of show you guys this. You guys can kind of look. So your front grill is just kind of giving you a little bit about how it looks. Trim, accents, like I said, just kind of take a peek at it. Pause the video if you need to. And we're done. Okay. Um, so we're running fast and furious here, guys. Like I said, I'm about halfway through this. But you guys are going to love this stuff. So it gives you a lot of stuff to look at. So your badging, of course see all kinds of stuff that you got for your badging like i said i'm just kind of scrolling through this guys so you guys can kind of see this now exterior features i want you to, to notice the key right here standard equipment standalone option or available via a package all right so if it says standard that so like this right here led headlights or daytime running lights manual leveling adjustment is standard on the sr the sr5 and the limited if there's a dash here then it's either not available or it's superseded by something else all right so boom here's your superseded right so premium led headlights with led daytime running lights sequential turn signals and automatic leveling adjustment not available on those two it's a package on the limited and then you have it standard on the platinum in the 1794 and then you have a smoked finish premium led headlight that's standard on the pro so that's how you read this all right so if you guys are looking at what i'm looking at here you can kind of understand how these look so these are all about lights right here all right and we're still coming through with the same thing so um kind of what i want to do here might be to maybe show this to you again this way so we're still looking at sr sr5 limited platinum trd pro all right so definitely take a peek like this and hopefully that'll help you because they don't um there, let me give you that i'm just going to kind of go through here you can kind of see some of the stuff that's on here um now this right here so oh there's an it's a standalone option so like power tilt sliding moonroof so people have asked what can i get the moonroof in all right so this is the limited right so you can get the moonroof as an option in the double cab all right you can get the panoramic roof as an option in the crew max on the limited right but then your standard above the limited cannot get a moonroof in the sr or the sr5 right so heated power side view mirrors not an option on the on the uh SRSR5 standard all the way above there. Heated power extending and folding tow mirrors with integrated turn signals, LED trailering lights. It's an option on your SR5, your Limited, your Platinum 1794. The Pro is going to be different, right? So front door handles with your touch sensor, that's standard across the board. Power running boards is an option on your Platinum or your 1794. Um, uh, active aero front spoiler, you can see where it's standard here. Um, and I'm going to pull a pen out here because I want to do this a little bit. Or actually, I'll be all right. So 
Bilstein, so your, your off-road suspension right here. So it's a package, that's your off-road package, right? So it shows you, so your low leveling rear height control air suspension, it's an option on your SR5, your limited, your platinum and your 1794. All right, a lot of people have asked for that. Your sport tuned lowered suspension, it's on your SR5. That's gonna be with your sport package. All right, so you can kind of see how all these packages kind of play out, all right? And this kind of help us again here. So I'm gonna pop over to the next one. We're halfway through here, guys. I know I'm going long, but I, I don't want to really rush this too much here. So here's the pro suspension, right? It's your off-road suspension, 1.1 1, 1 .1 inch lift. We already went over what it is. You can see it's standard only on the pro, right? And then aluminum front skid plate only on the pro. The red covers only on the pro. So you can see all that stuff. So electronically controlled locking diff. People have asked about that. Standard on your pro. It's your package on your um, 1794, your limited, and your SR5. Front and rear mud guards, packages on your SR5 and limiteds, package on your 1794 and standard on your Pro. Um, the high strength engine fuel tank, or, or armor high strength engine fuel tank and transfer case undercovers, standard on your Pro, not an option or anything else. Engine and body undercovers, standard all the way. You know, dual exhaust tips with TRD Pro logo, that's standard. The box steel frame with your hydraulic cab mounts, it's standard, right? It's all the way across. So your high strength steel cab with aluminum hood and front door panels, boom. Towing hitch, notice it's a package on your SR, all right? With the seven and four, it's a package. So you don't automatically get a hitch on the SR. So note that guys, realize that you don't. It's standard above there. So if you're just going, I want the cheapest one, I'm getting an SR. If you don't have that package, which I believe it's 500 bucks, it's either four or $500. If you don't have that package in there, you're not gonna have a hitch. If you plan on towing with the Tundra, and if you don't, then you probably are just, I don't, I don't know. Um, most people plan to buy a Tundra to tow with it, you know? Um, so that being said, there you go. Interior features. Your eight inch touch screen is gonna be standard on your SR and your SR5. I already went over that on another one. You're gonna be able to get it as an option in your SR5 and then standard on your limited, all right? And this is your six, nine speaker audio system. So the double cab, six speakers, crew max is nine speakers. Note that. All right, now I'm gonna kind of pop this back over here and I'm going to grab the next one and I'm gonna to try to show these the same way that I did the other one here. So, and here, let me just do this. I'm gonna kind of write on the fly, SRS, R5, Limited, Platinum, 1794, and Pro. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of write these down, all right, so that way you guys can kind of still see. So. This one, 12 speaker JBL system is gonna be an option in your limited and standard in your platinum, your 1794 and your pro, right? Wireless charging, see the same thing. It's with the package on the limited and it's standard up there. Um, just trying to show you guys all this. So your 12.3 digital meter, all right? This is your instrument cluster, all right? It's standard on the hybrid only in the limited, like I said in my video there, and then standard everything above there. Platinum 1794 and pro, not available on your SR or your SR5. 10 inch color heads up display. It's only in the packages on the Platinum and the 1794. Not available on the Pro. I've had people ask me, can I get a heads up display on the Pro? You can't. Backup camera standard. Panoramic view monitor. It's in a package on your SR5, your limited. It's standard on your Platinum, your 1794 and your Pro. Multi-terrain monitor. That's a little different than your panoramic view monitor. So I think you can do more with that. And it's in a package in your SR5, your limited, not available on your platinum, standard on your pro and an option on your 1794. Drive mode select, you're gonna have three selectable driving modes. Sorry, so you're gonna have eco, normal and sport, right? And, and I had a question on this too, so we're gonna answer this as well. So um, SR5 is standard, limited, platinum, everything's standard to have those driving modes. Now you have a drive mode select, which you'll get six selectable driving modes, and that's gonna be in a package on the platinum in the 1794. We saw that in one of my other videos, but you're gonna add those extras. So you get these as your standard items, you're gonna add those extras with a package on those. Um, it probably goes with the suspension, by the way. So I think that that's with the suspension package. Tow haul mode, standard on everything except the SR. You can't get it on the SR, all right? So even if you get the hitch, you're not gonna have a tow haul mode. Multi-terrain select, you got packages on the SR5 Limited, package on 1794 and standard on the Pro. Trailer brake control is gonna be standard on everything except the SR, can't get it on the SR. Trailer backup guide system, packages on the SR5 and Limited, standard on the Platinum 1794 and not available on the Pro, all right? 
So like I said, we're rolling fast and furious again here, guys. Just trying to get through this as quick as I can and try not to have a, a too much longer of a video. We're already up to page 12 out of 20. So in case you're wondering, I'm going to write this again here. SR5 Limited Plat 1794 DRD. All right, so coming to the next one here. All right. And by the way, it also says all specs for four by two and four by two and four by four, unless otherwise noted. That's on all of these guys. So on every page, it has that smart key system is standard. So push button start standard all the way across the board. You're also going to be able to entry have the remote entry in that where you can just grab the door handle, open it. Um, it says with panic and tailgate release functions, remote illuminated entry, red TRD start. Uh, engine start button that's whenever you have a trd package it's going to have a red start button um single zone automatic climate control with air filtration it's standard in your sr and sr5 all right dual you can get a package for your sr5 but you only get the uh, single zone in your sr standard everything else above there rear window people have asked about the rear window all right so power horizontal that's sideways guys horizontal uh power window now you've got it standard on your SR. It was not standard on the SR before. So now you got it standard on your SR double cab, right? So double cab models only, standard on your SR5, and then your limited double cab will also have it, all right? Power vertical, crew max models. So your limited crew max will have it, your Platinum 1794 and your TRD will have it. Um, it does not show that you have a vertical window on your SR or your SR5. All right, acoustic laminated windshield that's meant to keep sound down. Um, power windows, one touch auto, that's standard and everything. Rear door sunshades, you get that on your Platinum or 1794. Auto dimming rear view mirror, it's on your two lowest levels. Uh, thin bezel, um, so you have your home link, so that has your garage door openers, that's gonna be standard on your limited. Digital display, auto dimming rear view mirror with compass and home link universal receiver. I told you guys I wasn't quite sure on this one yet and because I had a couple questions on it. So it's here, digital display. So that should be the digital rear view mirror in a package on the limited. The platinum has it standard along with the 1794. Does not show on the pro guys. Um, fabric twinned four way, so not leather, SR, SR5, but you can get a package right here, soft text package on your SR5 to add leather, but you're standard with leather on your limited, right? And then you're also gonna have your uh, standard with TRD, soft text on your um, Pro. And the difference between the, the two here is that this is a 10 way for your, um, uh, your 1794 and your platinum. It was an eight way for your limited. All right, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna write this up here again. SRS R5 LTD plat 1794 and pro. All right, so we're back up here. Heated seats, well, package. <laughs> on your sr5 you can get a heated seat on, on there heated and ventilated limited and pro right so that's for your front now here's something else that's different guys heated and ventilated front and rear seats platinum and 1794 so you can get both heated and vented they haven't done that before they haven't vented the back seats um and actually they haven't heated the back seats on the back of a tundra ever that i know of so um you have the heated and the ventilated front and back seats Memory function is Platinum in 1794. That's it, guys. Fixed center console. This is back where I was talking about. There's no way for uh, six passenger seating because the center console that's fixed is standard. Illuminated center console storage bin. So you're going to have a light inside it on the limited Platinum 1794 and Pro. Rear seat center console vents, crew max model, standard, right? And, it, and so I'm guessing that means that it's not standard on the non, but we'll see what it pops up here. Soft touch instrument panel or instrument panel, center console and door surfaces, everything above the limited. Um, so that means this will probably be a little bit more plasticky on these two, not quite, not quite sure. Um, walnut wood grain and on the 1794, 1794 edition, here's your platinum. So this is just giving your badges and stuff. So we can kind of go over this pretty quick, your pro. Um, TRD and pro leather shift knobs packages on your um, and anytime that you have the off-road package or the sport package that's what that's going to be for your shift knob there polyurethane steering wheel with phone audio so these all have leather and this one's going to be a polyurethane 
um, on that. And you're going to see that here as soon as we get to the next level. Oops. SRS R5 LTD PLT. All right. I'm going about as quick as I can. <coughs> Appreciate you guys bearing with me here. All right. So now we have the, you can see pro steering right here. It's only on the pro. So the one that's got the little, the red stripe and all that, it's only going to be on the pro guys. Leather trim steering wheel package on your SR5. Uh, everything except the pro is up there heated steering wheel package on your sr5 and limited everything else is up there i mean you can kind of see your aluminum pedals that's anytime that you have the the package for the pro or the sport you'll get that 1794 badge math hey it's on 1794 imagine that um platinum badge formats hey, guess what platinum um so, so you guys can, oh pro hey look that too yeah you know there's our quiz questions guys right there um 60 40 split rear seat it shows right here so now this one, so you don't have an armrest or cup holders on your SR5. Everything else does. Rear under seat storage, uh, partition box, it's, we're going to notice it's not on the Pro. Pro's only hybrid, right? This is going to be standard on everything, and this is not, but it doesn't come on here. It's not on the hybrid, and I think that's what that's trying to say there, all right? Back panel rear seat storage compartments, so behind the rear seat, standard across the board that one should be even with the hybrid overhead console with rear window control so your your rear window is going to be on your overhead console all right so it was on the dash before so not standard on your overhead console 12 volt so rear 120 volt 400 watt ac power outlet packages on your sr5 limited standard on your plat 1794 and pro um, usb ports you're going to have three on your sr sr5 five on everything else Electronic locking fuel door. So on your hybrid, it's going to lock the fuel door. All right. So and apparently you can hit the lock button and it's going to lock that. Standard on everything, limited, um, platinum 1794 and pro, all hybrids, of course. All right. So safety and security. We are up to page 15. We got five left and we are fast and furious. Appreciate you guys being out there. Definitely give a like and subscribe. If I have helped you out at all, help me out with that like and subscribe, of course. So, um, Safety Sense 2.5, I've done a video on that. It's standard across the board. It's amazing. I'm glad they're putting it in the Tundra. Um, Star Safety System, that's been around for probably a decade now, but it's really good to help you out there. So you can guys take a look at what those include. Eight total airbags, including driver and passenger side. Um, knee curtain airbags. Uh, blind spot monitor. So here's your answer here on uh, some people have asked that blind spot monitor. It is not on the SR. It's on a package on the SR5 standard on everything else. Safety connect standard all the way across the line. Make sure you sign up for your connected service when you buy your car. Um, and if your salesperson doesn't do that, then smack them in the head and tell them how do I do it. Um, but uh, you need to download the app and you guys need to do that because it is going to help you guys out a lot and you'll need it uh, for a lot more reasons than just that. But safety connect in all your connected services sign up for that it will help you guys out like i said if your salesperson doesn't do that tell somebody so tell a manager because they'll, they'll need to know um, parking brake support with rear cross traffic alert so you got standard here with it looks the double cab eight eight one bed double cab eight one crew max with six five so your standard on those so your parking brake it, it's going to be there and then standard across there latch system obviously child protection and door lockout windows all that standard on those of course um hey i've got through that one pretty quick tire pressure monitor standard all this stuff standard most of it's probably government regulated um <laughs> for some of the safety stuff hill start assist drive start control um driver and front uh active passenger headrest so that basically means it's going to sense for a passenger that's up there um I had probably a little driver in front of headrest. Headrest ain't going to sense, but you, know, you get what I'm saying. Um, so you also have a leather, leather steering wheel. You see it's an option on SR5. We talked about that earlier. These say standalone options. So heated leather steering wheel or leather ste steering wheel, both of those are options. Moonroof right here. You can see which one's an option and you know which one's which. Power running boards. People have asked about that. Option on your Platinum and your 1794. No, you can't get it on the Pro. You probably don't want it on the Pro. Be quite you know uh, honest with you. SR5 convenience package. Oddly enough, that's on the SR5. Eh, okay. Blind spot monitor, parking brake support, and large fuel tank. 32.3 gallon fuel tank. Boom. There you go, guys. SR5 or TRD convenience package. Um, also right here. 
Uh, don't know what the difference is between those two. So blind spot, parking. Yeah, it looks like they've just repeated the same thing kind of twice. Parking brake support. Blind spot monitor. Oh, TRD convenience package. All right. So it's the exact same thing, but that's probably why you have the TRD package That because a couple things change on that. So that's probably what that particular one is. Um, all right. So I got another one I need to do. SRS R5 LTD Plat 1794 and TRD Pro. All right. So what else do we have? Premium package. SR5. Oddly enough, once again, on the SR5, you can see eight-way power seat, advanced technology package. You know, like I said, you guys can read this as we're going here, right? All these are on the SR5. So you can see they're only a package that's available on the SR5. So you can get your multi-terrain select right here. That's your advanced technology package. This way you'll know what to ask for, you guys. All right, so limited. This is your panoramic view monitor with cameras, um, uh, blind spot uh, monitor, out mirror, so power heated mirrors, blind spot monitor. Um, Premium outer mirrors, uh, power heated outer mirrors. Um, that's going to be a, these are packages on your SR5. Tow mirrors, right? Power heated tow mirrors. It's an option on your limited. Premium tow mirrors, power heated with panoramic view. It's an option on your limited, your platinum, and your 1794. SR tow package, like I said, it's in a package, but it's it's one thing. It's the tow. That's it. So, well, it's the tow and the four pin connector and seven way connect connector. So, but that's considered a package. TRD sport package, 20 inch TRD wheels, TRD grill, TRD lowered sport suspension and leather shift knob package on your SR5. Whoo, we're just running right through this here, guys. So we're almost to the end and uh, showing you everything you could possibly want on a truck. And if you want something more than this, you're just weird. Um, <laughs> or uh, you just want too much. Um, but no, there's these things are uh, really getting me excited, guys. So um, definitely tell me in the comments which one you guys are going to get. But uh, we'll have some fun here. So SR5, here's here's your SR5 off-road package. Shows what you get on your off-road package. Um, again, option. This is an off-road package, 4x2, four 4x4. Four four. You'll notice those are the two differences there. You get a few extra things on that um, just because you have to. All right, so TRD off-road package, 20-inch wheels. Um, you know, there's your 4x2, four 4x4. Four four. You can see that. So this one right here shows limited in the 4x2 as an off-road package. TRD off-road package in the 4x4, four four, it's seventeen ninety four. So these are different packages, guys. Limited premium power package, your premium LED headlights. You're looking here on your limited. Some of this you saw in some of the other ones. It's just, it's showing it in a different way. Rear suspension, your load leveling, rear height control suspension. SR5 and limited is right here. Advanced package. You got your platinum and your 1794. You see that's going to include your heads up heads up display. So you're probably going to have to have that in order to get your heads up display. Just so you know, audio standard on the SR5 and SR double cab. Eight inch touchscreen, six speakers. You saw my other video on that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay compatible, Sirius XM standard on everything. Uh, three month plan on that. Um, so all of that is there. Um, this is just kind of summing up everything here. So you can see, uh, you also get your connected service, safety connect, remote connect is on some of them, I'm sure. Um, so let me see. All right. So if we kind of look down here, oddly enough, it looks like remote connect is going to be on everything. It kind of looks like, let me make sure. Yeah. It, it, remote connects can be on everything. Remote connect, you can start your car from your phone guys. Um, and it looks like it's going to be standard on everything. Cause you got SR5 and SR5, SR and SR5 Premax. Remote Connect has one year trial, safe service connect three year trial. Um, and then you got safety connect one year trial, um, Wi-Fi three gigabyte, one month trial. Um, here's your, that's your audio, your audio plus, right? So you got a few extra things here. This is gonna get your 14 inch touch screen. That's on your SR5 guys, standard and limited cap. So, so your SR can't get the 14 inch screen. A couple of you guys have asked that question. You cannot get the 14 inch screen on your SR. All right, but six speakers, Android Auto, um, remote connect trial. So all that's there. Audio plus, right? 14 inch with nine speakers. All right. So that's going to add your speakers here on the 14 inch, but you're going to be on your SR five and your standard and your limited. So you're going to have two different. So audio plus, um, it looks like audio plus looks like there's two different for some reason here. Let me see if I can see what's different real fast. Audio plus audio plus 14 inch Android auto. 
nine speakers, six speakers. All right, so this is it. So you've got, this is your double cab, this is your crew max. So we already talked about that. So six speakers, nine speakers. That's why there's two different ones there. Premium audio, 14 inch, right? You're gonna have your 12 speakers. Um, a lot of you have talked about the old one going out that you guys thought that it needed a little more oomph on the speakers and on the uh, radio system. This should get it for you. Everything's got uh, remote connect. This is Drive Connect with a one year trial. Drive Connect is something new because I don't know what that is yet. Um, so, Drive Connect is uh, something I'm sure we'll hear about more, but uh, that is new. Um, wi fi with three gigabytes. Normally it's two, so you got three gigabytes free with a one month trial. That's uh, going to be a little bit new. It was two gigabytes in three months, which you never would get to three months. So, but it looks like it's a one month trial with three gigs. That's available there, Service Connect, of course. Basic coverage for your, lim your limited warranty, same thing. Toyota Care, it's still gonna cover your um, uh, first 25,000 miles on it. Here's your color, super white, windshield pearl, right? Mag gray, celestite, uh, celestial silver, magnetic gray, supersonic red, smoke mesquite, that's only in your uh, 1794 and in your uh, platinum, I believe, are the two that have that. There's Army Green, Lunar Rock, Check it out, Lunar Rock Blueprint, and then TRD Pro Color Solar Octane, Lunar Rock Super White, so I'm confirmed on Super White is the, the right white color, and Magnetic, or sorry, and Midnight Black Metallic, sorry. We're gonna take a breath, guys, because I know this was, here, we're gonna kinda look this way. Hey, I'm over here. Um, I know this was long, guys. I wanted to go over everything on the Tundra. Every question you guys asked me, I've just answered, <laughs> literally. And watch this video several times because you're gonna have to because I know I went over it fast. I know I talked quick. I didn't want this to be three hours long. So I talked really quick. I'm gonna post this video here and uh, I definitely uh, wanna let you guys know that I appreciate everyone of you guys out there. And I love every one of you. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you soon. Steve Welch being a Toyota, like, subscribe. Please guys, appreciate that. And uh, you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.